Hi, this is Mesh Rundown. If you enjoy movie reviews, shorts, and trailer reactions, you're in the right place. So, want to subscribe and hit the like button down below. Today, we're going to be reviewing Spider Man No Way Home. <music> Spider Man No Way Home is a 2021 superhero film directed by John Watts. It stars Tom Holland as Peter Parker, Zendaya as MJ, and Benedict Cumberbatch as Dr. Stephen Strange. Directly following the events of Far From Home, Peter Parker has to deal with the ramifications of Mysterio revealing his secret identity to the world, and the reality-shattering lengths he will go to to get back to the way they were before. So let's look at the good. It's really a lot of fun, it's an enjoyable movie, you've got web-slinging action, so 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 cool. Lots and lots of fun. And it was also nice to see old faces back again. Oh yes. I especially like the villains, they were done really well. And I think they stayed true to the original airings, if not necessarily true to the comics. Yeah. But they were great, and the actors obviously are back, and those who portrayed them were just amazing. Yes. And the movie is chock full of fan service, and it's fan service done well. It's not like kind of pandering to you, it's there almost for a reason half the time. There's memes in it. At one stage, Norman Osborne says, I'm something of a scientist myself. And I just I burst out laughing because that is a great meme. Uh, so just the movie is phenomenal in like paying homage to the fans and to everything that's gone before it. Without it being too corny. Yes. Yeah. And in saying that, it's absolutely amazing that they could respect the massive cinematic history of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and the Spider-Man Cinematic Universe as well. Because you're pulling bad guys in from all the different movies and it actually worked very well in the movie. I was very surprised at how they could put this puzzle together so well. What I liked about the cinematic universe being done well in this is that there were a lot of villains but it wasn't like Spider-Man 3 where the villains were just there to chock and block. Yes. You know to fall face. These were utilized in a very interesting way and they were kept throughout the movie. It wasn't just like a guest appearance and that's it. Which is amazing. And I've been critical of Tom Holland's Spider-Man. He's never felt quite like Peter Parker to me, never felt quite like Spider-Man to me. This one, he rectified that. Throughout it, he's going through experiences that Peter Parker goes through. He's going through experiences that Spider-Man goes through. Goes through. And it's, it's very close to Spider-Man for a change. He feels a lot more like Peter Parker's Spider-Man for a change. And at the end of it, I'm actually... It's Spider-Man. <laughs> I also liked the general concept of the bad guys in this movie because you were introduced to the humanity of villains, and particularly the Spider-Man villains, because they portray the humanity in the other series, but they don't really look too deeply at it and kind of acknowledge that, you know what, there's a lot of darkness and hurt that has happened that is what lies beneath all the evil that they portray. Yeah. If somehow you haven't seen the movie, switch away now because this is going to be a major, major spoiler. It was amazing to see Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield back on screen. Andrew Garfield is the best Spider-Man ever. No. Having him back on screen in the spider suit, quipping with the others, it was a dream. Like, I am so happy. That was the best thing ever. Seeing that was so amazing. I am so happy Andrew Garfield got to be Spider-Man again. And I, w I'm, I just hope that they break off into another universe where Andrew Garfield gets to reprise the role some more. Because you can see he loves the role so much and he's so good at it. He is Peter Parker. He is Spider-Man. He is perfect. I personally think Tom Holland is the best Spider-Man. But that's not really the point right now. The point is... It was fun to watch the interactions between all the Spider-Men. Like Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire's interactions were very nice. So at one point, Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man helps out Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man, who's obviously older, crack his back. Yes. So that was fun. So they, their interactions were just amazing and quite heartfelt. They were. Even Andrew and Tom uh, grilling Tobey about organic web shooters. That's weird. It was nice to watch it in the cinema and hear everyone gasp and clap and go nuts because they were just so happy. So all the rumors we've been hearing were true. And we, we had a very good idea they were going to be true. It was amazing to see it. <laughs> and it was nice that it was done well. Yeah. And 
it wasn't just we're here for five minutes, we part of this and we leave. Everybody almost got a complete story arc. Uh, Tobey Maguire became almost like the older brother figure where he was helping him read through party messages. Uh, Andrew Garfield got to complete his arc almost. The redemption. He redeemed himself, he saved MJ, which was absolutely one of the best parts of that movie. Possibly the best part of that movie was him saving MJ. Because he needed that more than more than Tom needed anything, more than Toby needed anything. Yeah. He needed to save him. And that was great. They gave it to him, it's not. Then the bad, well, there wasn't really anything bad. It was just a fun movie. One of the better Spider-Men. I hope they continue with Tom Holland's character, especially now that he's more into Spider-Man. Yep. And then obviously you want another arc with Andrew Garfield. Give me anything with Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man, I'll be happy. Anything at all. Overall, I'm really excited for the continuation of this franchise. I really want to see where they take the MCU Spider-Man now. And this is a first for me, because I've always been a bit on the fence with it and now I'm really excited. As far as the ratings go, it's a solid 8 from me. I'm gonna give it a 10. That leaves it a total of a 9 which is very respectable. Yes. Who should watch it? For well, anyone who enjoys action movies, the MC Universe or just like Spider-Man of course. So let us know in the comments down below. Who's your favorite Spider-Man? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.